I was lobbying um, our then Deputy Mayor to get a bike track in my children's school. I was on the Board of Trustees and uh, I didn't realise that lobbying might turn into being lobbied back. Uh, we successfully got the bike track in and um, he turned around and said, why don't you stand for council? And I laughed. But the, um, the Deputy Mayor encouraged me and said, you know, that actually a community perspective is really important in council. And so I went and um, did a bit of research because I had no idea what a city councillor does. Um, and so when I did the, my Google search, which I'm sure a lot of other other people will do if they're considering it. Uh, I, I found all sorts of interesting headlines but it still was a bit of a mystery and actually one of the things I did do was to go and watch a council meeting. Um, but I initially laughed at the idea of standing for council because it really wasn't something I'd ever thought about doing. I'd sort of just been someone out in the community doing my own thing. Um, but becoming very aware of the social issues that were um, happening in the community as a school teacher, um, I was seeing those in the classroom and wanting to, um, I guess, see how I could make a difference. And I could see very clearly once I started doing my research that council has a huge impact on um, everybody's lives, but particularly for our tamariki. So I guess as a, as a school teacher you see you know, the best and the, in the, the hardest stuff in the community and um, I was teaching uh, a child, actually remedial reading, um, and he'd fallen behind, he was six, he'd fallen behind because he'd had a lot of absence because his health wasn't good and it was a direct result of the house that he was living in that was leaking. Uh, and so I guess I could see how the decision making processes had impacted on his his life and actually how it was impacting on his future opportunities because he wasn't able to access school like everybody else was and so um, you know that's a it's a really good reason to, to be a voice out there and obviously our children can't sit at the table of you know the council table but um, we can and we can bring that that perspective with us. Well I think a lot of people don't realise how many um, times a day they touch they touch base with the local government service or facility and uh, how we how we make sure that those are provided is, um, has a direct impact on our community from you know when you wake up in the morning and brush your teeth and um, use the, the water and hopefully it's clean water um, to you know going on the roads or public transport or many many other other facilities swimming pools libraries they're things that we all you know appreciate having in the community but we need to make sure that the community can also determine what we need going forward in the future yeah, and I, th I think often um, people think local government, it's just a mini government, but actually it is so much more community based and you know, generally um, local government will be dealing with all sorts of issues that our community um, see as really important, but sometimes they don't necessarily connect it back with the council that is responsible. Um, and I think, um, you know, the decision making processes at times have sort of been a mystery to people, um, but I think it's really important that people um, have, have the opportunity and understand that they have the opportunity to influence decision making processes.